now welcome back Jeremy Bassey, the girls volleyball coach at Bronx Science. Coach, before we talk play, let's we'll talk team. Excuse me. Now we're going to talk some players. And before we get into the key specifics of them, a lot of these girls in many sports, when you're at the top of the top, you play in club level or AAU. So a lot of these girls are playing with each other as teammates and on the club level. How does that relationship change or what goes on with that relationship dynamic when now they're against each other, they're opponents? They love to play against each other in the regular <laughs> season. There's a lot of pride to be uh, won and lost in these games. So if we're at a tournament and your club teammate was on the team, they really want to get after it. It's very personal. Absolutely. Uh, familiarity breeds contempt, as we all know in sports. We're just killing these trite phrases today, by the way. But anyway, we're going to talk about your, your team we said earlier had a lot of talent coming back. Who's made the biggest strides over the offseason? Who's really made a jump? I think Mary Platt's ready to have a monster season. It's her fourth year on the team, fourth year getting some playing time in the starting lineup. But I think this year she's really ready to lead this team. She's ready to be a five-tool player. She's ready to get after on defense, not just attacking the ball. So look for her to be the girl that carries our team this season. Interesting, interesting. Alyssa Shaw, your version of Magic Johnson, will say, you said this past weekend she was very versatile. Talk about what she brought to the team this past weekend in a tournament. We were missing Mary and Dominique because they were taking their ACTs in the morning. So we had Alyssa, who's our setter, playing out of position. She was playing outside hitter, middle hitter. Usually she's just setting. And she ended up carrying us to a win against Long Island Luger and a tie against Chapin. And a first set win against Brearley, totally out of position. And she almost had a triple-double with digs, serve receptions, and kills. Wow, big day at the office right there. How does that change your going into the season? Would you possibly think about using her in other roles now after seeing how she excelled? We had to have a team meeting on Monday <laughs> have have because talk about it. we want to see whether seeing the new skill set would result in utilizing her not just as a setter but as a serve receiver and as an attacker. I think for the time being we're going to keep her in position and let her do what she does absolutely best. One girl you know pretty well after last year is Frances Lewis's outside hitter, uh, Regina Anthony. She's only a junior. What makes her a special player, though? She has volleyball in her genes and in her blood. She's been playing since age six. She's been playing club volleyball for many years. And it's not just her power. It's how smart she is as a hitter. If you try to take away one part of the court, she's just going to get it to another part. And she could also serve very tough. Susan Wagner also has a great outside hitter. Uh, senior Julia Bogdan, she's the PSL's version of Kurt Rambis. She wears the goggles, and she's got a ton of talent. Talk about her. She, people really recognize her on the court as a dominant player. Right. Boggs is a very explosive outside hitter. She's just one of many Wagner players who don't seek attention. They don't care about the limelight. They just play within their system, which is a very fast offense and very difficult stuff. Ariana Francis and Kat Minn as a dynamic duo from Fieldston. They're very talented. How do you combat teams when they are able to put people on there that are two different players in different parts of the court that are that good? Right. The thing is, there's no weak rotation when you have two players that are opposite because one's already always in the front and one's always in the, back, always in the back. So when that happens, you're looking at the firepower every rotation, and they're also able to side out easily because they can pass and they can hit. What's that do for your team mentally? Does that wear them down a little bit? That they, they just, they, you said there is no weak rotation. There's no time where you feel like you're still at the upper hand. Yeah, there's a mental edge there because if you're if you see that a team has a weak rotation, you're going to push points when the team is in that rotation. But if you see that they're strong all six rotations, there's really no daylight to make a big run and try to put the game away. Mary Claire Bartlett from Riverly is known for her absolute power. How do you slow down someone that can really just stroke the ball so hard? Uh, you can't stop her. You can only hold the container. I mean, she could go out for 20 kills on anybody, and you know they're going to go to her front row, back row, anything. And the bottom line is she's very difficult to stop because she is a very powerful hitter. Coach, thank you so much. Really appreciate all the information. You broke it down to players and the teams. Heed his words. It's going to be a great season.